Wow. In case you don't know what it means, yeah, and you can just kind of point to it when you get inside. All over. Sure enough, a bowling alley. That's definitely a bowling alley. I think ducking into the cover is a good, uh, good plan. But like a claw machine place. Wow, claw machines for days. What do they have in this McDonald's? Do you want to try a burger? Go for it. Go over here. Yes. Alright, so here we are somewhere in Osaka. McDonald's. It's just like being at home. What do you think, Don? Uh, yeah. This should be interesting again. So I've got a uh, shrimp filet of fish. We don't have that at home. Shrimp filet. Here we go. Yeah, so I don't like normal filet of fish, but I do like filet of fish made of shrimp. It's delicious. What's your names? Yutaka. Yutaka? Shima. Shima. Yeah. Yeah. In, in Osaka, right? Yeah, in Osaka, yeah. At McDonald's. <laughs> At McDonald's. <laughs> At McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So look, I know it's kind of copping out to come to McDonald's, but really when you go to McDonald's, you have to test two things. Is the Coke the same everywhere, and are the fries the same? The Coke tastes exactly the same. The best Coke in fast food. It's no different here in Osaka. The fries are good, Don? Fries are good. <laughs> fries are good. Hamburger's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Good to meet you. See you. See you.
duty free. Anything? Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I do the uh, green tea? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I don't know what this is, but it is uh, some sort of sweet bread with ice cream, and it's green tea flavored. This costs 450 yen, which uh, it's magic money. I don't think it costs anything. That's $5. That's interesting. What you, what's the verdict? It's good. Good? So it's a big slab of green tea ice cream and green tea bread. So if you like the green tea, you would like this. And I think it's authentic Japanese, so. Making our way back to the bus. Now this is where we're supposed to meet our bus, right? Yes. How early are we then? I doubt very early. <laughs> No bus though, huh? Yeah, the bus from there or any of them Oh, she did say meet on the bridge. We can go look and see if it's that is 21. The bridge, right? Yeah. Five fifty-six p.m. We were the first ones back on the bus. We learned our lesson, didn't we, Don? We did. We did. Cool oh. once. That was pretty interesting. So we wandered the streets. Uh, wow, there's so much that you can get into there. Bowling alleys and karaoke and food. We went to the Big Camera, which I understand is one of the largest department stores here in Osaka. There's like five levels and everything that you wanted there. Couldn't really film in there, but uh, it was pretty cool. Tried to find a tried to get a hard drive, but they were sold out. The biggest store ever, and they were sold out with the one that we wanted. I, I don't know, maybe they, it, it, was, it was questionable. It was questionable. They wanted our passport. Right. And because the ship takes our passport, we only had the paper passport. Right. And it just threw them for a monkey wrench, because they had no idea what to do. Yeah, that was the weird thing about surrendering our passport and just using the paper passport. We couldn't buy any consumer electronics there, so. Uh, and then uh, we tried uh, the local McDonald's. We tried... Uh, green tea, cream puff, ice cream thing. Pretty good day. They lost a lot of money there doing that there, Tony, because like I was looking at the Apple Watch too, and you were looking at a gimbal. So like we're talking $1,500 could have been spent there. But... We were ready, we were ready to spend, but they wouldn't take our money. But 
All right, we're gonna make our way back to the ship. We don't leave here until 3.30 in the morning, so who knows what's gonna happen, but uh, right now it's six o'clock. All right guys, so 6.57 back on the cruise ship. Tomorrow, so we are in Osaka. Tomorrow we're going to Kobe, and like I said, you can get there in a half hour like if this cruise ship went as fast as possible it's like just across a big bay but we're gonna go slow we're gonna leave here at 3 30 in the morning and uh, we should get over there by like 7 so our excursion is at 8 30 tomorrow morning but yeah uh, back to the room just kind of looking through it rained all day so i've got everything laid out i'm trying to get it dried off and uh i was looking at my haul I guess Pocky is a famous Japanese chocolate, so uh, at the Quickie Mart I got some Pocky. I, I don't know what this Galbo is, looks like some more chocolate. They gave us these snacks on the tour bus, and then of course I got our magnet. Uh, we took that left turn there and went to Big Camera, and so we never made it to the Starbucks. So I'm going to have to look for a Starbucks in Tokyo to get one of those Tokyo mugs, but uh, no Osaka mug uh, because of the detour of the plan. I'm a little tired, honestly. Uh, look, here, here's the reality. I took a fall in the customs house. I missed the last step. I fell on my knee, so I walked around all day kind of on a painful knee. It doesn't look bad. I took some ibuprofen. I think I'm going to be fine, but you don't want the big man falling straight down onto the ground. Uh, it was a little painful. Uh, part of me feels like I should go to sleep, but then part of me says, well, I'm going to miss out on something, so I might do a little work. Might make a video for you guys, and then I might go try to catch the ACDC tribute band. Um, I don't know. I, I ate a little bit before we went on the excursion, and then of course I had my I had my uh, fish sandwich, which was a shrimp sandwich, and then that uh, ice cream thing. So I'm not even really hungry. So I don't know what I'm going to get into. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, man. I look. I mean, the reality just completely blown away that I got to go to Japan. I know it was just for a few hours in Osaka today, but it was otherworldly. It's like nothing I'd ever seen before, and I feel so super uh, blessed and thankful that I got to experience it. Uh, it. Look, I know you're probably saying, hey, it's no big deal. All you got to do is book some travel and go. Well, for some reason, in my almost 50 years, I didn't do it, and uh, so I'm really grateful for the opportunity to do it now. So, um, yeah, we're, there's going to be more. I'm not sure what we're going to get into, but uh, you know me. I'll check in with you later. Very cool day in Osaka. So here's this huge Ferris wheel uh, by the port. I really wish we would have taken the time to ride it, but it's kind of a long day here in Osaka, but wow, the I saw another one in downtown Osaka. Just fascinated. I'm sure the view is just crazy good from there, but again, Osaka, the second largest town in Japan, and it's just massive. I mean, the interstate system is elevated. It's, it's, it's so big. Can't see it very well, but the bridge over there. All is calm on the uh, on the Lido. It looks like there's still lifeguards out patrolling the pool. So I guess you can. This pool was filled with people earlier when we first got to town. Man, it's been a lot of cruises since I got to do any late night Lido. I don't know why I never make it up here, but Lido's cool during the day and night. I think that's one of the things that really made me fall in love with cruising. All right, I'm gonna jump off here and maybe go, go see what the music scene is like, but just another quick look at the nighttime in Osaka. Kind of a calm, calm evening on the Lido. It's all still wet though. 
It rained on us all day here. I hope it doesn't rain tomorrow in Kobe. We have the Mount uh, Roku and uh, the brewery tour, the sake brewery tour. So I'm supposed to go to the top of a, of a mountain there and get to look down on both of these cities, which I'm looking forward to. Super cool. Look at this shot because of the deck being wet. Ridiculous the reflection off of this thing. All right, so jumping back in, it's about 9:15. Uh, I went up on the top deck. I filmed a little bit. I actually filmed the vlog, uh, so I'm, I'm uploading that. It looks like I've got about 33 minutes left to go in the vlog, and uh, I'm a little tired, but I, I don't want to go to sleep because I've been struggling with the jet lag. So I'm afraid if I go to sleep now, I'm going to wake up like at 4 o'clock. And that's what happened to me several days. I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm going to go see if I can... The buffet closes at uh, 9.30. So I don't know what I'm going to do. There's some music in Music Hall. And so those are the goals before I go to bed. This has got another 30 minutes to upload. So I'm going to go do something for a little bit and then come back. I'm going to go get something to eat. Then come back and uh, finish up the night. So... Uh, Nah, who knows? We'll see what happens. Now arriving, Express Train from New York. Pretty cool, they're showing uh, movies in the main theater tonight. Again, no shows because of the time that we are staying docked here in Osaka. Ship seems pretty dead right now, so I don't know if people are still in Osaka or if it's just people called it a night, but there's really nobody out and about, at least down on this end. So this is the schooner bar. There's a, an acoustical guitarist. Piano man tonight, just a beautiful guitar playing. Nice finish to that thought. Let's go down to 270 and see if there. Well, we'll go to the music hall first, and then 270 and see if there's anything going on. All right, so I just ran in and out of the uh, music hall. It doesn't look like anything's going on. People are just chilling there, having drinks. So let's go check 270. That's the last hope for any kind of something going on. Again, there's not anybody around. Nine thirty, so I think I'm gonna try to guess the buffet's closed. It might be pizza for me, and then I'm calling it a night. I'll see you in Sorrentos. Okay, so I found everybody. The buffet's staying open an hour later. It is jam-packed. I was gonna try to get some buffet food, but I'm like, meh. No line of Sorrento, so I just grabbed some pizza and some fries. Not the healthiest dinner, I know, but it's been a long day in Osaka. So I'm gonna end the vlog here tonight. Thanks so much for tracking along with me. Hope you enjoyed my day in Osaka. Uh, more to come, Kobe tomorrow, and then Tokyo the day after, plus two more sea days. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the vlogs. Uh, this is Tony for La Lida Loca, and until the next time, see you on the lead up. Bye.